Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you've been well. We're about to leave on a little weekender lander here with Talon and me. So my Tacoma looks pretty big by itself, but next to the Sprinter looks quite small. Anyway, it's raining right now. It may rain for a while. So we're gonna head out camping. Talon and myself, we're just gonna find a spot somewhere that the Sprinter will do all right. And if this weather keeps up, probably a lot of this video will be hanging out in the van. Yeah. So <laughs> we'll see how it goes, but we're off. So we're out here in a spot, area I'm pretty familiar with. I've never camped at this spot, but relatively easy access. So Talon, I mean, got his van in here, no problem. We could have done something a little gnarlier, I think. And maybe we will in the future. He's gonna get actually a little suspension work done. Put some bigger tires on this baby. Yeah, even stock, I think this could do a lot more. Like obviously on the yeah. way in, we could have done some more rocky, rough stuff, but I yeah. think ground clearance is the only issue right now. Yeah, getting back in here for the most part is just a washboard dirt road, a little bit of ruts, but we're back in this spot. It's nice and open, uh, super dreary outside, just clouds and actually drizzling right now. Got a couple on the lens, hope it's all right. So it's kind of raining on and off, but we figured we'd just find a spot and set up camp. So I brought, not much, I just threw, toothbrush and clothes in a duffel bag and nothing literally empty back here so that is because I'm relying on Talon's house on wheels he has induction cooktop and refrigerator and everything we'll ever need in here like Doritos like Doritos so if it ends up raining and stuff we can also just kind of hang out in his van and I'll show you more of the van as we get into it, but we're gonna kinda get set up and settled and figure out what we're gonna do tonight. So we were walking around the grocery store and Talon's made me some of his famous mac and cheese before. Not, this, not my famous mac and cheese. Yeah, it's his famous mac and cheese. Oh, look, we can each have a pack. And I was like, let's do that again and add some hot dogs. And he's like, hot dogs inside? Like, like kindergartners? Like cut them up and yeah. put them in the mac and And I was like, yes, please. So that's where we're doing his van has an induction cooktop in here uh, this is a little sink that folds out i think this is all like a lot of it is dometic stuff dometic yeah. makes all kinds of stuff for vans the sink is dometic the double pane windows are great for insulation those are dometic as well so that is what talon is going to be cooking up yes, sir. chef specialty this is the tray little trayvax fixed blade I use that thing all the time for food prep. It's a cool little blade. Wean cookage. Those Induction right cooktops are so nice. Instant heat. The worst thing ever. Go over this. Okay. I gonna say the worst thing ever. So we've been hanging out in Talon's van for, I don't know, the last couple hours just kind of chatting about life and aliens and YouTube and social media and what the future holds. All of that, that sounds like more existential than I meant to talk about, but <laughs> it's just nice to have a place to hang out in a van. So it's been raining and gloomy outside. My white bounce is a little off, but since 
I think since basically I got the Tacoma and started getting into adventuring, I've always wanted a van. I've talked to Talon about the van thing for a long time, ever since he got his van, really, and he's like, get a van! Get a van! Get a van, dude. do it! You're gonna get a van now. I want a van, and I'll probably get a van eventually, but I, I could never get it because I feel like in order to get a van, you gotta like live on the road like Talon's doing, or like embrace full van life. And I don't think I'll ever do that because I got a lot of stuff tying me down to a location uh, and a house and stuff. And I gotta run my holster operation and things like that. But just this little overnighter we're doing when it's raining outside, the van is so nice. Cause it's like a nice place to hang out, move around, stand up, cook dinner. And I want one you could because do... You could do van life light and just have like a super simple build out, longer wheelbase, just a place to stand up and hang out like just this. Just chill, yeah. Like I don't think I would build like a like a full on shower and everything, but it would be so nice to have a van for like, obviously like a week long trip or two week long trip or whatever, road trip, I wanna go visit some national parks or something. But there's a lot of times when the weather is like this out and I would like to go camping and I'm like, it's not even really worth it because either you set up an awning and kind of try to huddle under it if there's no wind it kind of could work a little bit but not really so you basically kind of sit in the car you kind of sit Indian style in the tent and it's just not you're kind of like why did we even come out but in a van you just hang out in the van you cook dinner maybe you put on a movie or whatever and then the weather clears up and then you go and you play outside for a little while and you come back into the van it can be all climate control and have all these cool lights on and fans and air conditioner and heater. I don't know, man. I want a van. Let me know. I want to know your guys' thoughts down below. Let me know in the comments. Like, obviously, it wouldn't replace my truck, or it, it, it's not. I'm not gonna get like a crazy four-wheel drive pop-up van. I want one that's just like ready to go. You pull over in a parking lot, and you can stand up and hang out. And I have connections to build it really sick. So I'd probably like buy a van shell and build it for light adventure. A lot of mountain bikers are into vans cause you can put the bikes in the back and everything. So it would be probably be a more like a multi-use van that I could still use for hauling stuff, but also adventure in. But I don't know. Let me know your thought. I'm curious how people feel about that because I'd probably like document it and stuff. So let me know down below. dogs pre-cut had a little bit of salt had a little bit of smokiness wieners in here what you probably don't have is sriracha huh i do have sriracha. oh Come on, bro. Of course. sriracha you know what i'm gonna be adding to mine mac and wieners we are, we are <laughs> children <laughs> masterpieces we're gonna feel so bad after eating this <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't eat that healthy, so my body's used to it. Yeah, I mean, I haven't been either, so. It's time. Just do it, lay it on. Lay, lay it, it on, on? Nice and thick. It's no. I'll tell you when. All right. Man, that's, that's gourmet. That's pretty good. That's Ooh, gourmet. Man. Look at, oh, towel, gonna go for some too? Yeah, Ooh. bro. All right, thank me later. This is sriracha mac and cheese and weans. Let's dig in. Delicious. Talon is sharpening my Skeletool for me. Yes, sir. What do you got there? Uh, WorkSharp became a sponsor of my van the other week, so they sent out a ton of different sharpeners. This is like the fancier version. It's only like 50 bucks, but it's a guided field sharpener. It's actually pretty cool. It's very cool. This part goes on yes. different kind of stones um, or grits, I guess. This one actually pivots, so if you're sharpening a blade with a belly on it like that, when you bring it across, it actually turns to pivot for the tip. 
And then you can lock it for Warrencliffe style blades so it doesn't move. Swap out different grits like this here. Just held in by a magnet. It's kind of neat. You can get them on Amazon for like 50 bucks, so. Very cool. Thanks for sharpening my knife for me. Yeah, man. This thing has seen some use, so hopefully it actually does get sharp. <laughs> It'll be better than it was. Yeah. All right, it's the morning now. I came back into Talon's van. So I slept in the tent and it was fine. It was rainy off and on through the night and got pretty cold into the 40s last night, which is the coldest I've been camping in Colorado since last year. Which is kind of a bummer because it means fall is upon us. Anyway, Talon slept nice in the van, uh, all insulated and out of the weather. <laughs> so. <laughs> I came over here, he's actually cooking up, uh, getting prepared some breakfast for yeah. us and he just kicked on the little diesel heater and the hot water heater and I'm like, man, vans are cool, vans are pretty cool. So we're in here, warming up, drying off, getting some breakfast going. All right, we'll check back in in a bit. What is that? Little protein side of things we got chocolate milk for the morning. So here we are in the van. I'm in this like bench seat and then the front seats spin around so you have kind of a galley living area. Uh, and then actually town has some diesel heaters in here. So actually I got heat coming out right at my feet, which is nice. This is this is the dream man. Nice and toasty. The dream. Hey guys, so we just had breakfast. Talon made me a delicious breakfast burrito. Actually two, I couldn't even eat them all. I wasn't very hungry. Last night's dinner did mess me up a little bit. <laughs> so I actually went and took a dump in the woods. I said a long time ago, I was gonna make a video on like giving tips on how to dump in the woods and like how to do it properly. But quick thing is you dig a hole six inches deep. I just do a squat, like a, a rice farmer squat. <laughs> I can say that because I'm, I'm Asian. <laughs> this is the best method I've found. Don't get it on your pants or shoes or anything, but kind of like a squatty potty, it comes right out and you have great accuracy for the hole because you're hovering right above it. Uh, and then wiping the best, as gross as it is, the, the best thing to do for the environment is to wipe and pack it out. They do make special biodegradable wipes that you can bury, again, six inches deep, cover it back up with dirt. I usually put twigs, sticks as an X over it so that nobody else comes and tries to poop in my same spot. <laughs> and that's what I did this morning and then wash your hands after. Or I had some wipes and then I used antibacterial stuff. So that is what I just did. <laughs> just as a glimpse into the super glamorous side of, of camping. Talon has a toilet in his van that I probably could have wrecked, but I didn't want to do that to him. <laughs> I don't even like to wreck my own toilet. Yeah. Um, so what we just did was a video talking about all our camera gear. Oh, Talon already put his away, but that's going to go on my channel as the next video to this. So if you're curious about his drones and GoPros and camera gear and the bag he uses, that's in this video as well as all the stuff that I use. So 
check that out soon. And then what we're gonna do right now for Talon's channel is he's gonna do a walk around of my truck. So uh, you probably know a fair bit about my truck, but if you wanna see a video that just has everything to it in one video, that will be on Talon's channel at some point. I think he's got a backlog of videos, so it's probably not up there now, but. It'll, it'll be next week, it'll be. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah so it'll, in August. it's probably gonna be live if not very soon. So check out Talon Sai on YouTube, Talon like a claw. All right, so things are looking pretty ominous again out here. It's probably gonna start raining again. So I packed my tent up, Talon's all packed up. He's actually gonna be driving for eight hours today over to Salt Lake City to continue his road trip for a bit. So he's gonna, we're gonna drive out this dirt road and he's gonna take off for a while and I'll head home. But I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, Talon is doing a video of this whole trip as well. So if you wanna see Talon's perspective on the same exact trip, uh, definitely check his channel out. It'll probably be a little more interesting mine with some time lapses and GoPro footage and Maybe. drone footage and stuff. Uh, he's an actual professional YouTuber. But yeah, hope you enjoyed it. I'll probably show a little bit more and then do a little closing later, but we're all packed up. So this is Talon going from living, hang out in the van mode to travel mode. Got that little desk table that we ate on and hung out on. That thing buckles up so it doesn't flop around. And then these front chairs spin around. That's pretty much it. That's it. Now he's ready to drive as is, but we got some drones and stuff out. So we'll pack those up and head out. You guys would be happy to know Talon has embraced the croc life as oh, well. Oh yeah. So, no shame there. So Talon's packed up, ready to go. He actually used some leveling blocks I thought I was filming but wasn't. Just those little square ones. I'm leveled out on some rocks, as is my usual fashion. Got us pretty close to level. And so other than my camera gear, which we talked about, all I brought, since Talon had everything in the van, was just a little duffel with some clothes and toothbrush and whatever, and a pillow and a sleeping bag. And actually I brought this, this is a Grail Geopress filter. Very cool water filter that I just got. I was gonna try it out if we were by any water, but we're not really close to any water right now, so. That I'll have to wait for another video. One last thing before we go. This site actually has a lot of trash. Talon and I both like picking up trash when we're places. So gonna spend a few minutes and just clean the place up a little bit. Always a good thing if you love the outdoors to pick up after the trash of the earth that doesn't pick up after themselves. So uh, don't litter, you know? Don't just like leave random crap around if you can. Uh, and I try to go one step further and pick up other people's trash when I can. So, I'm gonna do that real quick. Okay, and Talon found an arrow through a beer can. Very nice. is off to Salt Lake City. Got like eight and a half hours or something like that. Woo! I don't have reception right now, but it's gonna be a long one. All right, man. It was a fun trip. Yeah, dude. Until next time. Good to see you, man. Take it easy. Got a moose over there in Colorado. When you see mooses, you see people stopping on the side of the road.